inspiring. I see Scrum Masters as radical change agents within organizations, people who inspire energy for change in others around them. They act as catalysts, sort of incendiary fire starters. They create a place where people want to be and they're able to be their best. Nobody is ever inspired by a cynic and great Scrum Masters are infectiously positive and optimistic. They embody the art of the possible and they role model the values and principles of greatness. They're courageous in their convictions and ruthless in their belief in the capacity and the potential of the team and the organization. And this positivity is part of what makes great Scrum Masters such motivating people. But great Scrum Masters will also find out what motivates the people they're serving. A few years ago, I was asked in a workshop about what reward policies Scrum has built into it. And when I responded with, there aren't any, they then asked me what they should do about it. So I posed them a hypothetical scenario. I said, suppose at the end of this project, your boss comes along and says, great job. That was a really impressive piece of work. And it meant a lot to me and the rest of the company. I'd like to recognize your effort and your performance, but I don't know how. How can I reward you? Name it. I asked the group to think about it. And then I asked them what they would have asked for. And the responses I got were interesting. They included, well, it would be nice if someone just actually said something like that for a change. They asked for money. They asked for time off, new gadgets, companies sponsored social events, time and authority to improve the team's work environment, more autonomy over the team's work, and an opportunity to experiment with new tools or technologies. And then one lady said, do you know what, Jeff? It's funny you should ask because just recently I got something I didn't know I wanted, but now that I've had it, I want it all the time. And the rest of the group in the room looked at her, fell silent and almost saying, what is this magical thing of which you speak? And she explained that at the last sprint review, her scrum master had arranged with the product owner to bring along a couple of the actual end users of the product so that they could see the latest features that had been developed and to give a little bit of feedback on the previous release. It turned out that the development team heard rumors about end users, but they never met one. And they certainly hadn't had the opportunity to speak to them before. And hearing directly that what they'd been working on day in and day out was not only actually being used, but also that it was having a positive impact on people's working lives turned out to be a massively motivating factor. When they'd heard this, the rest of the group pretty much just nodded in agreement. And we discussed how this opportunity is actually built into Scrum with the sprint review. So why not try finding out what motivates the individuals within your team and what motivates them collectively as a team? Because they might not be the same thing. You might also be surprised by what you find out and how simple it might be to actually meet those needs. In the next few videos, we're going to explore how to inspire people to be more creative and how we can leverage some of the Scrum artifacts like sprint goals and burn down charts to inspire teams to even greater effectiveness.